Okay, so this is going to be a very long video, not like the others. Uh, I'm just going to show you a bunch of pictures that are showing like the history of humanity, the forbidden history. And as you know, our human race is about maximum two centuries, 200 years old. I'm just going to show pictures that showcase a bunch of like construction sites and construction buildings and buildings and super buildings built by the previous humanity. So some of them I like have like names. So if I have the name, I'll just say it. This is San Francisco when they t took out these Roman type things. And then we have here stuff from the mud flood. As you know, there's constructions built on top of constructions, which are like underneath several feet or meters of, um, of land. And um, earth and this is like germany you can see the station before and after it was uh, it was uh, built with like uh, like bad materials and stuff so i'm going to show you lots of like buildings that have like these towers so as you know they're atmospheric electric energy because it's energy is infinite um that you can you can take electromagnetic energy from the sky from the atmosphere so that's the whole point of these buildings uh the ming tombs again build uh, stuff which is made by uh, they call it ancient but nobody had a technology what well, they did have technology is just like the history as we know it is fake and um Zepic, and then the 1893 world's world's columbian expedition in chicago which is like the republic roman empire like in america again built by a different humanity and a color photo of pre-war dresden germany towers and atmospheric electric energy which is wrongly called tartaria agriculture building in the trans mississippi international expo in omaha nebraska in 1898 and uh, this is albert dock liverpool uk again same you'll notice in all corners of the world it's the same principle of architecture different humanity uh, alexander nevsky Cat cathedral which is not a cathedral of course azerbaijan built in 1898 and destroyed uh, well they say built but it was there uh, and destroyed by stalin in 1938 uh, let's go to the next folder and this folder is start here so this is alexander nevsky orthodox cathedral again not a cathedral in Tb tbilisi in georgia which is a country by the way so it's not georgia state it's the country of georgia former soviet union uh, allegedly built in 1871 97 and demolished in 1930 as you know you have to demolish this is the Alm alms house in hagia sofia istanbul turkey allegedly built in 1743 and um, amberfort rajasthan india built sometime they say in the year 967 more like you know uh, the whole of history was faked uh, ananta samakom the throne hall in bangkok in thailand and built in 1915 they say and see the dome and the, the thing with the atmosphere electricity and this is the other post office these are not post offices but you know how history has changed all these buildings function into a post office this is in belgrade in former Yugoslavia, built supposedly in 1929 and destroyed in 1944 by Allied bombings. And then it was rebuilt in the Stalinist style. And this is uh, the Aqualate Hall in Staffordshire in England, allegedly built in, so they say, 1808. Again, check out this atmospheric electricity energy. Aqueducts, of course, they're not as you learn in history, this is the aqueduct of Chalpa in Mexico, built by the Jesuits, they say, in 1767. More like it was there when they came. And check out this here. So we have this uh, cathedral, it's, which is not in Romania, allegedly built in 1545. And then you have this in the Chicago World Fair, 1893. Same principle is for like extraction of electric energy from the ether, from the atmosphere. And this is the Argentine Pavilion in Buenos Aires, in the capital of Argentine, in 1889. That's the date that they give it. Uh, Asakusa Luna Park in Tokyo, Japan, approximately 1910. If I didn't say Japan, you would have said Europe or America. Burned down under suspicious circumstances of course and whenever you have to get rid of something do a fire and uh, an artificial fire because if you just burn wood there's nothing that's going to happen atlantic city new jersey uh, marlboro blenheim hotel in uh, 1902 1906 uh, built and demolished in october 1978 again this like principle of construction more like in uh, the Turk Empire. We have this in the States, so imagine that. Let's pass on to the next folder. It's going to get more interesting. Uh, again, Atlantic City Traymore Hotel. Uh, this one here is Avenue Nicholas II in one of the expos. Check out this um, wrongly called Tartarian architecture. It's not Tartarian, but anyway. Um, 
get the point uh hold my beer fam yeah so all the years here from 1870 moving along all the way to 1897 same when, once you see one picture you understand uh, that the same principle is used in everywhere in the world this is the bad shahi bad shahi mosque in punjab in india built in the 17th century so they say only to be converted into a military garrison a century later check out the hugeness and also it looks like more like a like a power station to me uh again a different angle check out the, the comparison between a human being and all that stuff and you have to believe that this was constructed with raw power back then this is the baron empire palace uh, also called the kasir al baron once named le palais hindu which is adorn as uh, an adorned sculptures of elephants snakes and dragons and images of shiva and krishna in Egypt, 1907-1911, uh, kind, very interesting style with all these, you know, um, I guess you, you know, what I mean, Basilica of Our Lady of Sorrows, Queen of Poland, uh, this is in the village of Lichenstari, uh, near Konin, uh, which is in the greater Poland, Voivodeship in Poland, so yeah, um, definitely interesting, check out this, like, the same principle, this is Belfast City Hall, Northern Ireland in the UK, uh, 1898, uh, by the way, lucky you guys in Northern Ireland, you're both Irish and British at the same time. So you're both Europeans and Brits, not like the English. The English are only British. <laughs> and with Brexit, it makes like, uh, you know, because Northern Ireland, I'm Irish people, they have like this blessing of having both passports, British, UK and European. So whenever you leave the UK, you're European. When you're inside the UK, you're British. So that's something that the English from England or the Scottish, I think also, they don't have that. So yeah. Um, remind me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure the Scottish have it or not, but I know the, the English don't have it, so yeah. And Belfast City Hall, Belfast in Northern Ireland, the UK, again from a different angle, check out the hugeness and stuff. You know, when you, once you see this type of like um, architecture, it's everywhere. So this is in Berlin, uh, the cathedral. Cathedral, it's not cathedral, it's like a power station. Uh, Berlin, Germany, 1750. And uh, Berlin Cathedral, again, from a different angle, supreme, as you can call it, and uh, the way that you could extract energy from the from the atmosphere. And um, from the sky, number four, uh, This we saw this before. Someone, I, think I kind of have like a couple repeated. Bombay High Court, 1870. What can I say? Did the Indians build this? It was the British Empire. Uh, Borobudur Mahayana Buddhist Temple in uh, central Java in Indonesia. More like a, an ancient power, or ancient, not so ancient, but still more ancient than our power stations. Uh, but again, using electricity. Boys Central High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Built in 1894, they say, and demolished uh, in the site it once inhabited. Now you have a parking lot. So you have to be really... Uh, uh, intellectual to build parking lots and that broad street station in philadelphia pennsylvania usa demolished 1953 hey oops sorry uh, and then yeah, again different angle different uh, color uh, budapest house of parliament uh, just like the one in the uk pretty much and check out the same as with the cathedrals this is in the former austro-hungarian empire so there you go uh, built temporarily for the 1893 chicago warfare who built this temporary just to destroy it afterwards it, it was there beforehand and this is like very very recent uh, still uh, buzhara uzbekistan they call it a five millennia old city more like like 500 years or maybe not even so check out this like definitely looks like power stations to me um for energy uh cardgill monument in dun eden in new zealand that's also a very very like new zealand and australia they were full of these things and there was no time to build them because as you know this the history of, of australia and new zealand begins in 1850 and they, these guys didn't have any any ways of meaning of building and this um like new zealand as you know checks out the same principle as we see in europe and uh america also dunedin is very close i mean new zealand is very close to the summer gate which allows you to go outside of this crater casa loma castle in toronto ontario canada 1911 and uh, let's go to the next folder Yo, cascade fountain mexico city allegedly built in 1716 check out these people here you can see that the grandpas of these people they were not the builders of this and it's like in the middle of the of a, of a mud like road and this principle of like construction same as everywhere else um this one is the castle of the air central park in new york city 1895 
uh, this year Cathedral of La Plata in La Plata, Argentine in, uh, in Argentina same principle of cathedral as they call them uh, cathedral of again Christ the Savior in Borky this is near Kharkov in Russia uh, 1900 and then destroyed during the Bolshevik rule more like a superpower I mean if you actually believe this is a place where you go to church and to say your prayers like I know I say Cathedral of Our Lady of Amiens in Somme in France again cathedrals more like for like they say oh it's for Christianity and stuff or like for different religions Cathedral again of Our Lady in Antwerp in Belgium and with the same like uh, peaks and stuff uh, here Cathedral of Palma in Mallorca in Spain uh, they say it was built in 1601 same principle here more like like everybody went to say we're gonna build the same stuff or uh, even though they didn't have internet and they weren't able to communicate by email or by phone or stuff uh, yeah but they would just say yeah let's build the same stuff across the world uh, cathedral again Santiago de Compostela in Spain um, same principle this one here is the Catholic Catholic sorry cathedral in Christchurch in New Zealand New Zealand on the other side of the world uh, demolished after the 2011 earthquake they say it was built in 1905 um, very interesting that thing with uh, New Zealand and Australia uh, central dome in Paris Expo and France uh, 1889 you see this and you say wow my goodness gracious and so huge um, central high school in Philadelphia in 1904 again if, the, if it's not the post office it's a central high school or it's a church or a cathedral it's just like one of those things you know uh, there you go and then next folder number six and um, central train station in Brest Belarus uh, the only country left in Europe I'm not sure to say if it's free or a dictatorship it depends how you see the things and uh, built in 1886 and heavily damaged in 1915 during World War one and eventually demolished so bye bye uh, Chateau Frontenac, Quebec City, the French side of Canada. If this is a hotel, and who had like this is like the same as with Australia and New Zealand, right? How with what resources and stuff? It's just incredible. Imagine if this was actually there, which I think it was, and then these guys just came in and they just put their butts inside. Chateau of Water, the the Palace of Water and Electricity water either also water eater electricity paris world expo in 1900 um and this is chicago 1893 massive whenever i see these expos like the chicago one it's just uh, pff, speechless mind-blowing chicago city hall 1885 to 1911 check out the size of these stones and columns and pillars um wireless trams and stuff energy chicago federal building lost in 1965 so uh, what, whoever came with the idea of demolishing this place must have been against history definitely uh and you get the point right when how did they build this and chicago is only one city of the states in any case chicago welfare in 1893 again and uh, again welfare 1893 different angle so much perfection looks like the the roman republic we're in the states and this is with light uh, this was 1893 imagine the the amount of power they had back then to actually make everything with so much light and and then they just tear it down because you know that's what you do with an expo you just destroy it afterwards uh chicago welfare from above 1893 and this is the Ch chilaga in chicago in illinois the old water tower second oldest water tower in the usa official date of completion as they say per history uh, official history 1869 and this is the church of saint nicholas in amsterdam netherlands do you actually believe people will actually go there to say their prayers to god like come on 1887 uh, and then let's go to the next one um here we go church again church of the archangel michael um warsaw finished in 1894 they say as an orthodox church for occupying russian soldiers and it was torn down uh, following the polish independence in 1923 there you go wonder if this was actually and these are like an antennas and not actual uh, uh you know um crosses this is the church of the disciples in new york city 1875 they say it was built in 1873 and destroyed in 1899 to build a new clubhouse impressive church of the transfiguration of our savior um in uh, karelia in russia built in 1715 now this one is made of the wood you know so um 
it's a new picture like here largest wooden structure of the world so this is actually more, more possible because it's made out of wood um but again you say the same principle here i'm just wondering if this would also is it like just a copy or would it actually be able to extract energy city of petra uh, which is by the way it's melted so this like is it's because of some like like wave of like heat or something which melted the whole place and that's why you have the city of petra in this uh, way in jordan uh city of temples and bagan in myanmar which is a country in asia they say the date is 1044 for these uh just incredible just incredible like once you know history and the true history how you analyze these things and how you see the different meaning of all uh city public bank a bank this is in moldavia and moldova republic of moldova which is a country between romania and ukraine um yeah it's very it's like probably the you know the the saddest place to live in europe uh they're gonna probably be like attached to romania at some point uh, according to the european union treaties and all that stuff so yeah um in Chisinau, in uh, in the capital same principle with this triangle and the columns and and the dome and everything so interesting and this is like a picture which is obviously art but just like tells you just with see as we see in the movies how the world would have been and how the world was uh, before everything got torn apart clark mansion at 962 fifth avenue and east 77th 1920 in new york city uh, whoever lived in this place and just imagine new york city is very cold in winter so i'm just guessing how would you make um how would you like be warm in such a big place with radiation which is positive for the body uh, cliff house in san francisco 1896 1907 destroyed in what in a fire uh, with those fires cliff house from a different angle just imagine like probably this was here before the flooding right so be, uh, probably this was just land and then the water came and the level uh, got to be too high and that's it and this is the cologne cathedral in germany uh, like whenever they call them cathedrals i'm just like what the heck is wrong with human brains uh power station as you can as you want to call it uh, not bombed again avoided to, to for the bombings and just you know the way it was built let's pass on to next one number eight cologne cathedral from a different angle germany huge different angle as well from the cologne cathedral again cologne cathedral and inside the cologne cathedral again whoever believes that you go there to say your prayers think twice you see the power stations uh, for electricity columbian exposition in the usa 1893 in chicago and completion of the michigan state capital they say in lansing in 1870s it's just i i don't even know how to like how to describe this to people who are indoctrinated uh michigan state capital 1870 and checks out corn palace sioux city iowa usa 1850 demolished why because you would make uncomfortable questions because many of the buildings in the usa are identical to the ones in the arab countries and uh, you know you're not supposed to know that much are you uh, court of palms san francisco 1915 so good that these are like public pictures and uh, they don't belong to anyone uh, craig daruch castle victoria british columbia in 1890 uh, and then cuba well, cuba is also so identical to the rest of the world and that's cologne so let's go to the next number nine this is the uh, dark shinesvart kali temple in uh, west bengal in india uh, more like a power station again uh, and this one is detroit michigan waterworks park waterworks and it looks the same as the one in the arab and turkish countries um 1876 1945 the picture is from 1881 again these like curious people with their suits in their hands um detroit waterworks again michigan different angle this is um in china actually did you know that beijing and most major cities in china used to be surrounded by absolutely gigantic city walls uh, sadly most of them were torn down in the 50s in the name of development more like in the name of hiding true history in china because obviously china is a dictatorship in some ways in some other ways not um dilkusha koti residence in dilkushi lucknow 
uh, Lucknow in India, 1858, um, ruin, complete ruin. Who built this? Was it like the Indians or was it the Brits or was it the other empire, the other humans before? Uh, so this picture here, impressive style. A pagoda, again, did you build this or was it built by a previous humanity? And this is this like the same that we have today in power stations for electricity. Uh, Duomo di Milano, uh, the Dome in Milano in Italy, built, they say, in the 1300s, and this is from the 1870 picture. Again, if you built this in the probably they did, but with technology, not like they say, with primitive, like, uh, you know, sculpting. Edinburgh's prison and, and castle in the 1840s, uh, in Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh, and with the, these, like, things, Edinburgh. It's just amazing in the UK. Uh, education and teaching building, Paris and World Fair, uh, 1900. And this one is the Eglise, the Church of Saint Jacques uh, in Abbeville, Abbeville uh, in France, demolished in 2013, of course, because you have to demolish things. Elphinstone College in Mumbai, India, impressive, and also with these colors and stuff, uh, late 19th century. Of course, the, the road has to be out of mud. You built all this supreme thing, and then the road's out of mud, and then this <laughs> impressive technology. It's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. And that's how people think when they study history. No questions, just study like a parrot. Um, Elsinore Gate in Cincinnati, Ohio, 1898, built in 1883, so they say. Entrance California Building, the Panama California Expo in San Diego, California, 1915. Check out the work here. And um, before and after, right? Before and after, the Essen Hauptbahnhof, the train station in Essen in Germany, before and after the Second World War. Obviously, I prefer this one, and you understand why and the principle of destroying exchange building in 1868 in Dun Eden in New Zealand again a massive work and for New Zealand and for Australia you get the point how history can be faked exterior view of the Ohio State Building uh, being hauled by a barge uh, to its new home in San Carlos in California 1916 they were able to actually transport buildings like these across water which is amazing uh, federal coffee palace in Melbourne Federal Coffee Palace. Somebody built this in Australia. There were barely any people in 1888 uh, and it was demolished in 1973. Whenever you want to hide something, just demolish it or just like put a fire. Festival Hall World Fair building in St. Louis, Missouri in 1904. You would just see that you wish like you think you're like in Rome or something. Um, and then this is the Festival Hall in San Francisco, World Fair, 1915. And uh, the Flinders Street Railway Station in Melbourne in Australia, 1905, they said that it had like almost 3,000 electric trains at the beginning of the 20th century. Electric, uh, free energy, free energy. Uh, you know, you, those of you who actually understand what I'm saying, Ukraine, 1895, um, 1895 and 2020. So what do you prefer? I prefer this one from the 19th century. And this one is disgusting. And um, this is Fort Jefferson, Florida, 60. 16 million bricks and in the middle of the of the water like impressive uh, fortified towers in Kaiping in China kind of very interesting let's go to half of the list right now 11 Forum Theater Melbourne Australia uh, Fountain of Energy San Francisco Fountain of Energy 1915 this one here, free real estate. Why? Because you just like, you know, you don't build this. You just come as a new humanity and you take over Pretoria in South Africa, Algiers, Dakar in Senegal, Chicago, Osaka in Japan, Seoul, South Korea, Saigon, Vietnam, Winnipeg, Calcutta, India, Delhi, Karachi, Pakistan, Tehran, Iran, Santiago in Santiago de Chile, Rio in Brazil, Buenos Aires, Argentina, Melbourne, Australia, Managua, San Jose, Costa Rica, Havana, Cuba, Bel Belgrade. Um, it's just, uh, you know, yeah, it's free real estate. Same principle, same everything. You just come in and put your little tiny, you know what, and uh, you take over. Uh, Fresno County Courthouse, then versus now, we have the year here. Again, disgustingly ugly. Um, and then Garden Palace, Sydney, Australia, 1879 to 1882, they say it was built. Uh, Gendarmenmarkt, Gendarmenmarkt in Berlin, 1857. One of the oldest photographs of Berlin. And when you watch this, you feel like being in, in the movies like Rome, 
and stuff. This was Berlin in the 19th century. Do you understand the empire who built these things? Was it the people with these primitive technologies? Uh, impressive. San Francisco earthquake and fire. So you say in 1906, 90% of the total destruction was a result of the, of the fires. One of the largest of these fires was accidentally started by a woman making breakfast. Official history, my friends. And this came to be known as the Ham and Eggs Fire. Yeah, with Ham and Eggs Fire, you get this destroyed city when you see it. It looks pretty much like a bombing and with lasers, a welcome reset. And uh, Gillender or Gillender Building in the financial district in New York City, demolished, of course, as well. Uh, after 13 years, you build this, you live it 13 years, 13, one, three, and then you demolish it. Supreme Gold Gumbaz in India. They say it was built in 1656. With what purpose? And who built this? And what technology? Uh, was it the Indians? Was it someone else? A golden statue of trumpeting angel, a red gate and church of the three holy hierarchs in Moscow. Moscow. Very religious, these people, right? <laughs> Once you understand religion is not how they... How you learned government house in Myanmar, uh, demolished again in 1985 because, of course, you're not allowed to ask questions. And the Grand Arch of the Peristyle in the World Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. I guess you, when you see it, you can understand. I, I hope you understand all this. Uh, you know, I'm saying uh, the grand entrance in the Paris France Expo, 1900. Uh, grand organ in Melbourne, Australia, uh, now gone. So it's not there anymore because uncomfortable questions are not welcomed. Uh, again, grand organ in Melbourne, Australia, different picture. And this one is the Grand Palace in Hanoi in Vietnam, 1902, identical to Australia, but we're, it, we're in Vietnam uh, and we're like in American stuff. Grand Theater in Poland, 1890, and uh, the Great Choral Synagogue, Synagogue. If it's not a church or a cathedral, it's a synagogue in Poland, destroyed in 1943. Uh, Gvalior Fort in uh, Madhya Pradesh, India. They say it was built in the 8th century. More like very recent. Um, built, but by a different humanity perhaps. Hagia Sophia in Istanbul in Turkey, 1900. More like power station. Um, and then Harbin. China. If I didn't say China, it wasn't written in Chinese. You would have, you would have said like America, Europe. It's China. Um, Hava Mahal Jaipur, India. They say it was built in 1799. And this is the High Court of Calcut Calcutta in India, uh, 1850s to 1870s. Again, was it the Brits in in there? Like they had like did they built all this or was it there beforehand? Because it was the same empire. Holkar College, Karachi, Pakistan again and um, this principle 1890s uh, grand entrance the expo oh yeah we saw this so let's move on to folder 13 horticultural hall the centennial exposition philadelphia 1876 uh humayun's tomb that's the name of this one and full you ruins yeah like a tomb you make it like a, like a tomb more like a power station again uh hungarian parliament building budapest they say it was constructed in, 80, in 1896. Uh, we saw this so many times with uh, the electric energy. Uh, Herbert, Her, sorry, Hurlbut, Hurlbut Memorial Arch in Detroit, Michigan, uh, built, they say, in 1894. Uh, Imambara in Lucknow, uh, built, they say, in 1784, India. And this one is in Mexico City. So curious why Mexico and India look so much so like alike. And everything else church of the assumption uh, of the holy virgin in moscow um in soviet russia it was demolished in 1935 to expand the sidewalk you get the point right uh india again india lots of ruins in india and this is in india as well this technology no, nobody knows and nobody knows why these guys are like so like you know bare feet and stuff and ruins here More like they came out of nowhere and they're like uh, you know, civilization has started in a different way. India, mud flood or like underneath, several layers, meters, feet, underground. India as well. <laughs> Pretty much, if you didn't, if I didn't say India, you would have said something else as well because it's the same everywhere. And let's move on to number fourteen. India again. Uh, India. 
India is just and then people say oh Tartaria but yeah I understand the maps but uh, not all of the maps so like the more the more ancient maps you see lots of I mean you kind of understand like what was before Tartaria how they call it and India as well here lots of pictures from India never gets uh, too tiring India and India as well and this is India as well ruins ruins of a former empire same as everywhere else ruins india india again and india 18 1857 uh, whatever remains of the remnants of something and this one this one is the industrial hall in glasgow in scotland uk 1901 check this impressive piece of technology next 15 Institute of Delhi in India, 1850s, 1870s. Welcome columns, just like everywhere else. Tombs, no way. They were, uh, by the way, the pyramids were built between 1700 and 1800. Post office, no way. And my brain has short circuits. Industrial building, yeah, whatever. Corn palace, whatever. And then you go, ah, man, the history, once you understand it. This is in the States. It was Iranistan, Iranistan, in the States in Connecticut. Imagine, Iran, the States, now they're like, they're like enemies, right? Well, before, it was the same principle everywhere. And this is 1848, 19th century, Iranistan. This building existed. Unfortunately, we only have these uh, these uh, drawings and paintings. But this was in the USA. Um, this is Istanbul. Istanbul in the 1800s. And Istanbul, of course, in 1890. Something is wrong. And this is Jaipur or Jaipur, Rajasthan, India. Uh, this is the Geronimo's Monastery in Lisbon, Portugal. They say it was built in 1502. Uh, and this is the Jewish Synagogue, Nashville, Tennessee, 1879 and 1954. And the Jubilee Institute in Karnataka, in India, 1890s. And yeah, the Hotel Interna International Hotel in Barcelona. <laughs> when you go and studying those things. And then the Justice of Palace in Tokyo, 1887, Tokyo, Japan. And uh, let's move on close to the finish line, almost. Kaiser Passant Palace in Lucknow, India. Impressive, 1870. Uh, the Kazan Cathedral in St. Petersburg in Russia. And the Klamath County Courthouse, 1913. Um, Kowloon Station, shortly after the completion, Hong Kong in China. It was demolished in 1977, even though the public uh, protested, demolished. Uh, La Madeleine Church, Madeleine Church in Paris, France, uh, was built, they say, in 1828. If you believe that, then that's, of course, <laughs> you're welcome to believe. La Martiniere College in Lucknow, India, built in 1845, they say. Uh, different angle, in the same place. This is the Las Lajas Sanctuary in uh, Nariño, in Colombia. Again, Colombia. It's the same principle all over again. Uh, Lakshmi Vilas Palace in India, 1890, they say the date is. And this is the Leeds Town Hall in England, in the UK, 1853, 1858. I guess you know the message by now. This is the Leipzig Reichsgericht in uh, Leipzig, in Germany. Uh, they say it's like the late 19th century, 1890, 1900s. Um, Liberal Arts of Palace, San Francisco, 1915, before and after. I prefer before, and this before was made by a different humanity. And uh, let's move on to number 17. Litchfield Cathedral, again, Litchfield, England. They say the year is 1,195. Uh, Litchfield, from a different angle. Um, again, this one we saw before. Lost Melbourne, the Queen's Coffee Palace. Uh, demolished in 1970 and now we have the ca the headquarters of the cancer council which was built in 1984 this is the Louisville Kentucky water tower they say it was built in 1819 um, you see like a Roman temple complex in the United States um, Lucknow India 1860 uh, this is the machine we saw this before main fair house during the all Russian exhibition this is in Nizhny Novgorod in uh, Russia in 1896 and this is the main square of the Paris World Expo, 1867. And um, this is the main waiting room in Penn Station, New York City, 1910. 
Malta's Royal Opera House destroyed by the Luftwaffe in German, uh, the Germans in that, that's how they say it in April 1942 in Malta, uh, the island Manila in the Philippines. They say was built in 1571 by the Spanish. I'm assuming, or was it there beforehand? Um, 18. This is the Manjrabat Star Fortress in Karnataka, in India, and um, Mannheim, Germany. Checks out Fortress, Fortress, India, Germany. Just impressive. A marble stairway uh, in the palace in Paris, in France, 1878. Marlborough Blenheim Hotel, again 1908 in the USA. Mary Queen of the World Cathedral <laughs> in Montreal, Quebec, the French side of Canada, 1925. Uh, Mehrangar Fort in India. Uh, impressive stuff. Melbourne, again, the station, the train station, the busiest in the world at that point. 3,000 electric trains. What I say here? I check this out. This is an am amazing. Australian Scenic Series. Uh, this is like from a cigarettes package. Um, Flinders St. Railway Station in Melbourne, in Victoria, Australia. This station is the busiest passenger that this was written back then in, in that year, in the early 1900s. The busiest um, passenger station in the world. 3,380. 318,000 passengers passing through uh, the barriers daily, 16 passenger platforms, uh, constant use, 2,566 electric and 168 steam trains being dealt with at the station each day. More than 2,500 trains, electric trains in the early 1900s. Do you understand my point here? So yeah. Uh, just, you know, once you understand all that, once you understand that the pyramids in Egypt are like uh, modern buildings from the 18th century makes a lot of sense as well the metropolitan cathedral of the ascension of mary in mexico city uh, this is the midland grand hotel completed in 1875 they say and the milwaukee wisconsin courthouse constructed in 1872 that's what they said and then it was demolished in 1939 but again this with the with the construction years you get the point right what i'm saying um, 19. This is the a building in Yangon, uh, in Myanmar, formerly Burma, was Myanmar, 1900. Um, the Ministry of Agriculture in Tatarstan, in Russia. Uh, the Mole Antonelliana Tower in Turin, Italy, 1889. And this is the Monroe Palace, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the most dubious of dubious origins, with this obelisk as well. And the Monument of Vittorio Emanuele. Uh, second in Italy this is the monument of the fall to the fallen Russian soldiers in the Republic of Tatarstan in Russia as you know Russia is a federal state uh, I guess you didn't know uh, bigger than the states uh, Moorish style Ar Aransas County Courthouse in Rockport Texas what the heck is a Moorish style building doing in Texas USA in 1956 of course built before that uh, Moyamin Singh prison uh, Philadelphia, 1835, demolished in 1968. Check out this Egyptian-looking type thing in the USA. And this is in Myanmar. Who the heck built this? What technology? What like, you know, machinery? And look how how primitive the people are. And like this is there, like very ancient. So yeah, you get the point, right? But you need technology. You need like companies. You need like uh, power. Comparison: fire bombing, atomic bombing. We are not going to go into atomic stuff right now, but just to understand. And then fires and earthquake. So same principle. When you want to reset something, you just you know blast it with something artificial, and uh, that's it. End of the story. And then you bring on a new humanity. Very recent. This is a Napa State Hospital. Unknown date of construction. Demolished in 1949. Who the heck builds a hospital like this? More like a palace and with like energy. And uh, National Cathedral, Washington D.C., USA. And uh, the Neue Elbebrücke, the Elbe Bridge in Hamburg, Germany, 1887 and destroyed in 1957. Because that's what we do. Well, that's what humans do. Neuschweinstein Castle in uh, Munich in Bavaria in Germany in the mountains. New post office, post office, Hong Kong, 1910. And uh, the New York Buffalo, circa uh, 1908, Erie County Savings Building. Uh, this technology. The incoming humanity, once everything was in place. Uh, old Chicago, which looks like Gotham City in the Batman series or movies or comics. Batman would be proud. 
um, and then old city hall toronto ontario canada 1912 and the old cotton exchange building in liverpool uk demolished in 1967-69 why the heck would you demolish this well yeah, there's no point in like say oh this is because it was built by a different humanity right and this is the old uh, hotel de ville the old uh, house in paris in france uh, in 1532 and um let's go to before oh, the last one number 20 the old kansas city board of trade building demolished in 1968 um, old ministry of foreign affairs building uh in bucharest in romania this was the former palace of of a guy called sturza uh, again very very interesting architecture old parliament hill in ottawa in canada 1900 and it was always always there before so again probably built by a different humanity old penn station we saw this before but penn station is something unique or it was because it's not there anymore the old post office again post office um in pittsburgh pennsylvania demolished in 1966 because you have to demolish demolish again old santa fe station tower in san diego 1915 destroying history uh, old state capital uh, baton rouge in louisiana uh, end of the 19th century omaha post office never get tired of these post offices right um of course you know they were not post offices demolished in 1966 because you know ontario government building in toronto ontario in canada 1926 and uh, again melbourne station original design of the reichstag building in berlin germany and uh, the original Tsutenkaku Tower in Osaka in Japan, 1912, demolished because of a fire. Uh, and then the Ortakoi Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey, they say it was opened in 1856. And the Otago Boys High School in Dun Eden, New Zealand. And the Pabst Building, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, early 1900s. Pagoda of Sisho or Chisho Temple, they say it's a 16th century stone and brick Chinese pagoda. More like an uh, like, um, energy device for the elect electric atmospheric energy from the sky. Palace of the Emperor of Japan, Tokyo, Japan. The Emperor, just like the other emperors in Europe and America. Palace of Diverse Industries, International Universal Exposition in 1900s. 1900. And the Palace of Electricity and Water Castle at the 1900 Expo in Paris in France as well. Different angles, different colors. And that's it. That's everything. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this long video. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, don't get too lost in the whole, in all this thing about Tartaria. Uh, the knowledge is there. Everything is public. You just have to make an effort to understand. And I'll see you guys in the next video.